One good way to get started in Scratch is to make a project about yourself. That's one way you can introduce yourself to other members of the community. Here's the Scratch homepage. If you're just getting started, you might want to check out the Help section of the Scratch website. Here, there's a video about getting started with Scratch. There's a link to a step-by-step -step introduction, tutorial. You also can check out some starter projects. But I'm going to go right to the Scratch project editor and dive right in to make a project. When I click on Create, I get to the project editor. And projects always start with the Scratch cat. But actually, since this is a project about myself, I don't want to scratch cat there. I'm going to want a picture of me. So I'm going to go to the scissors, cut out the scratch cat. Now I want to add an image of myself. Now characters in Scratch are called sprites. And if I click on the new sprite area here, I can get a sprite. Either I can choose one from the library, paint it in the paint editor, or I can get one from uh, my hard drive, and that's what I want because I know I have a little picture of myself on my hard drive. There's a picture of myself. Pick that, there I am. So I just imported the image of myself, and now I can start programming. So if I go to the motion category, there are blocks like move. If I click that, I can move the character. But actually, what I want is I want to have my character say something. So I'll pull out a block that says say. If I click on it, it says hello for two seconds. Rather than hello, I'm going to type in hi, I'm Mitch. Let's try that out. I just click on the block. And there it says hi, I'm Mitch for two seconds. Uh, maybe I'll also say something about where I work. So I'll add another block that says I work at MIT. Click on that. Yeah, there it goes. Now, if I want to say one right after the other, I just snap the blocks together, click on them. Hi, I'm Mitch. I work at MIT. So there's my first computer program in the project. So that's working pretty well. Now, I think I'd like to have a background rather than just standing on the blank background. And here, there's we call them backdrops in Scratch, a backdrop to the stage. And again, I could import it from my hard drive. You could bring in a photo, you could paint something. I'm going to pick one just from the library. And actually, here's a building at MIT. So I'll choose a building at MIT. And there, and now I'm standing in front of Simmons Hall at MIT. And maybe I'll start uh, saying something about my hobbies. Uh, I want to sort of share some of the things that I enjoy doing. And, Actually, the tennis courts at MIT are right near this place, so maybe I'll talk about playing tennis because that's one of my favorite hobbies. So I'm going to bring in a new character uh, that, like, I'll grab a tennis ball. I could go to to uh, find a tennis ball online, grab an image, and bring it in, but I think there's a tennis ball in the library, so I'm going to click New Sprite from Library. I'll go to the Things category. Okay, alphabetize. If I go down to Tennis... There's a tennis ball. So I'll choose that. Oh, there's a tennis ball. Now that's a little bit small. So I'll go up, I'll choose the arrows to grow it. Click on it a bunch of times. There, it's getting bigger. Now we have a nice tennis ball. Now, I think I want the tennis ball to move around. So I'm going to go back to the motion category. And notice I now have two characters. There's the picture of myself that is saying a few things. And the tennis ball, the right now doesn't have any scripts. So I'm going to try to have the tennis ball move. So if I click on move, tennis ball moves. But I want it to keep on moving. So I'll go into the control category. Here's a block that says forever. So if I have move forever and I click on it, oh, it got stuck on the side. But if I go back to the motion category, here's a block that says if on edge bounce. I'm just going to stick it in there. The ball's, the script is still running. There, now whenever it hits the edge, it bounces, and the tennis ball is going back and forth. Actually, it'll be a little more interesting if it wasn't going straight horizontally. So I'll just pull out a turn block, click on it once, up, and now the ball is bouncing all over the screen. Actually, I'm going to stop the ball. Hit the stop sign. You can always stop things. 
I think I want the ball to start whenever I click on it. So I'm going to pull out from the events category. Here's one that says, when this sprite clicked. So I'm going to put that, we call that a hat. I'll put it on top. So it means whenever the tennis ball sprite is clicked, it'll start going. So I'll click on that, and there it is. Now, of course, if someone comes to my project, they won't know to click on the tennis ball. So I think I'm going to go back to my character. And after I introduce myself, I think I'm going to add one more comment here. Say, click on things to learn more about me. So now, it says, hi, I'm Mitch. I work at MIT. Click on things to find out more about me. Actually, I think I'm going to want, this is the beginning of the project. So I'm going to get that started when the green flag is clicked. So when the green flag is clicked, my character will say, I click on the green flag up here. Hi, I'm Mitch. I work at MIT. Click on things to learn more about me. And now I think when someone clicks on the tennis ball, in addition to moving, I think I should say that tennis is my favorite hobby. So I think I'll record that. So I can record a sound by clicking in the sounds tab here. And I can record a new sound. So this is for recording a new sound. Oh, that's choosing a sound. Here's for recording. And here's to my controls. So I think here's for recording the sound. So I'll say, I'll allow this to go. Tennis is my favorite hobby. Let's try it out, this to go. Oh, tennis is my favorite hobby. There's a little extra stuff in the beginning. I think I can crop it out if I just take this stuff to get rid of and then cut it out. Let me try it again. Tennis is my favorite hobby. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll name that tennis. So now we have the sound for me talking about tennis. And I go back to the scripts, and there's a programming block that will play the sound that I just created. It plays the sound tennis. Let's try it. Tennis is my favorite hobby. So let's put that right after I click the tennis ball. It'll say, Tennis is my favorite hobby, and then I'll start moving around. Uh, so let's give that a try. Let's take it from the top, and when I click the green flag, it'll say, hi, I'm Mitch. I work at MIT. Click on things to learn more about me. And when I click on the tennis ball, tennis is my favorite hobby. Great. Well, that's a start for helping people learn more about me. Of course, I could keep adding other objects and uh, to help people learn more about me. I could put different backdrops to show other places that I like to visit. Uh, so I think this is a way that everybody could get started with sharing something about themselves uh, to could start letting other people in the community learn more about you. Uh, we'll finish it up by giving a name to the project. They'll say intro, or I'll just call it Mitch Intro. That'll get saved, and then I could since I'm already logged in, I could actually now go to the project page and I see the Mitch intro. Tennis is my favorite hobby. And everybody is now ready Tennis to Tennis is my favorite Oops. hobby. I could give instructions and say some things about it uh, and then share it for the rest of the community to see. Okay, hope that helps get everybody started. I look forward to seeing what you create with Scratch.